Kyle the Caterpillar's Adventure Once upon a time, there was a young caterpillar named Kyle. Kyle lived in a beautiful garden and loved to eat the delicious leaves of the plants around him. He spent his days crawling around, exploring and munching on leaves. One day, Kyle had an exciting idea. He wanted to see the world beyond the garden. He had heard of a magical butterfly who lived in the garden and knew that if he could become one, he would be able to fly and see the world. So Carl set off on a journey to find the butterfly. He crawled and crawled, asking every creature he met if they knew where the butterfly lived. Finally, he met an old ladybug who told him that to become a butterfly, he would have to spin a cocoon and transform. Carl was determined to become a butterfly, so he found a nice, cozy spot and spun himself a cocoon. He stayed in the cocoon for many days, and when he finally emerged, he had transformed into a beautiful butterfly. With his new wings, Carl was able to fly and see the world beyond the garden. He flew over mountains and valleys, oceans and deserts, and saw all the amazing things the world had to offer. He returned to his garden and shared his story and the beauty of the world with all his friends. Lost and Found A Teddy Bear's Tale Once upon a time, there was a little bear named Teddy. Teddy lived in a cozy cave deep in the forest with his family. One day, while out for a walk, Teddy got lost. He didn't know the way back to his cave and he was starting to feel very scared. As he was wandering, he met a kind rabbit who offered to help him find his way home. Together, they walked through the forest, over hills and through valleys, and finally, they came to a clearing. And there, in the distance, Teddy saw his cave. He was so happy and grateful to the rabbit for helping him find his way home. From that day on, Teddy and the rabbit became the best of friends and had many more adventures together. The End The Sleeping Kingdom The Quest to Break the Curse Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there was a beautiful princess named Rose. She had long golden hair and sparkling blue eyes, and she was kind and gentle to all who knew her. One day, a wicked sorcerer put a curse on the kingdom, and everyone fell into a deep sleep. The only person who was not affected by the curse was the princess. She knew that she had to find a way to break the curse and save her people. Princess Rose set out on a journey to find the sorcerer and put an end to his curse. She traveled through treacherous mountains, dark forests, and scorching deserts. Along the way, she met a brave knight named Sir Lancelot who offered to help her in her quest. Together, they battled fierce dragons and outwitted cunning trolls, until finally, they reached the sorcerer's castle. In a fierce battle, Sir Lancelot and Princess Rose defeated the sorcerer, and the curse was lifted. The kingdom awoke from their sleep, and everyone was overjoyed. The princess and the knight were hailed as heroes, and they lived happily ever after. The End The Boy Who Outsmarted the Dragon Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a young boy named Tom. Tom was a curious and adventurous boy, always looking for new things to discover and explore. One day, while playing in the forest, Tom stumbled upon a strange, hidden cave. Being the curious boy that he was, he decided to venture inside. The cave was dark and musty, but as Tom's eyes adjusted to the darkness, he saw that the cave was filled with glittering jewels and sparkling gold. Tom couldn't believe his luck and he started to fill his pockets with as many jewels and gold as he could carry. But as he was about to leave the cave, he heard a strange noise. It was the cave's guardian, a fierce dragon. The dragon was angry that Tom was taking its treasure and started to breathe fire. Tom was scared, but he remembered a trick his grandfather had taught him. 
He took out a shiny mirror from his pocket and held it up to the dragon. The dragon saw its reflection and thought that it was another dragon. The dragon thought that it was facing its own reflection and ran away. Tom quickly left the cave and returned home. He shared his adventure with his family and friends, but he decided to keep the treasure a secret and instead used it to help the less fortunate in the village. From that day on, Tom was known as a kind and generous boy who always thought of others before himself. The End The Clever Fox Once upon a time, in a peaceful meadow, there lived a group of animals. There were rabbits, squirrels, birds, and many other creatures that lived in harmony together. However, there was one animal who stood out from the rest, a clever fox named Felix. Felix was not content with his life in the meadow and longed for something more. He wanted to be the leader of all the animals and have everyone look up to him. He came up with a plan to achieve his goal. He started to spread rumors and lies about the other animals, creating mistrust and division among them. As the animals began to fight and argue, Felix saw his chance to step in and take control. He declared himself the leader and the animals, in their confusion and disunity, accepted him as such. But as Felix's power grew, so did his cruelty. He became selfish and demanded that the other animals serve him, and those who did not comply were punished. The meadow was no longer a peaceful place, and the animals were no longer happy. But one day, a young rabbit named Rosie, who had always been too timid to speak out against Felix, finally mustered the courage to confront him. She told him how his actions had hurt the community and that true leadership is about serving others, not oneself. Felix was ashamed of what he had done and stepped down as leader. The animals came together again and the meadow was peaceful once more. From that day on, Felix learned the true meaning of leadership and became a respected member of the community, always working to serve the greater good. The End Butterfly of Kindness Once upon a time in a beautiful garden, there was a young caterpillar named Charlie. Charlie loved to eat and he ate all the time. He ate so much that he grew bigger and bigger, until one day he felt very tired and decided to take a nap. While he was asleep, something magical happened. He began to spin a cocoon around himself. He slept and slept, and when he woke up, he had transformed into a beautiful butterfly. Charlie was amazed at his new form and couldn't wait to explore the garden. He spread his colorful wings and flew from flower to flower, drinking the sweet nectar. But as he was flying, he saw a group of caterpillars struggling to climb a tall tree. They were having a hard time because they were still small and their legs were too short. Charlie remembered how hard it was for him when he was still a caterpillar, and he wanted to help. He flew down to the caterpillars and showed them how to use their new wings to fly up to the top of the tree. The caterpillars were amazed and thanked Charlie for showing them how to fly. From that day on, Charlie became known as the Butterfly of Kindness, and he spent his days helping the other caterpillars in the garden to transform into butterflies and reach new heights. The End